Hey Google, turn on mission control. Okay, turning on mission control. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today, today I'm going to expand your knowledge on smart home things, specifically within Google Home. Today we're gonna to show you how to create and use Google routines. We've got a ton of other stuff for the other side of things, specifically Alexa. So today we're gonna to be focusing more on the Google Home type of stuff. So again, by the end of this video, you're gonna not only know how to link all of your smart devices to your Google Home, but we're gonna show you how to create the routines and of course, how to use them. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. First things first is you're gonna to want to have your Google Home Mini already set up and ready to go. We do have a video for that that I'll post up in the top right hand corner. And then of course, you're gonna to wanna to also make sure that all of your smart home devices, such as your plugs, lights, et cetera, are also already set up and ready to go. Because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Google Home app and we're going to link the devices together. So you're also gonna to wanna to determine what software or what application all of your smart devices use in order to complete the linking process. So to do that, you're gonna go into Home and then you're gonna go into the Settings icon right up here scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on an option that says works with Google. From here, if you are familiar with like Alexa, there's gonna be, these are basically the same things as skills. These are the things that you use to link all of the different smart home things together in kind of a central hub. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna search for an app called Wiz because that's what all of my Philips RGB bulbs and some of my plugs, everything uses in order to uh, have a central location. So I've typed Wiz at the top there and you can see you're gonna wanna find the icon that matches your app. So I found it right here where it says Wiz. And then this option comes up, it says by linking your Wiz account to Google, you can control your lights with Google. Again, yours might be a little bit different because you may have a different app. You may need to sign into it with the same credentials that you used within that app. It looks like it has found my account on this phone, so it just is telling me to agree and link, but yours may be wanting you to sign in with the same credentials. In any case, do that. I'm gonna tap agree and link. And you can see smart devices added. Yours should be something very similar. I've got tons of light bulbs that are connected within this app, and everything's got a nice little check mark on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on done. And it says, just start with, hey Google, your Google Assistant will respond to you when you say whatever, control your lights, turn on, blah, blah, blah. We're just actually going to tap on finish setup. And you can see that things are already set up depending on what rooms they are already set up in within the app. It's gonna carry that over into the Google app as well. So it makes it a really nice seamless integration. Now, that is just the connection process. What we're gonna do now is actually go in and create the routine. So if you look at the top here, you're going to tap on where it says routines. It's got like a purple circle with kind of a light on it. You're gonna to wanna to tap on routines. There's a bunch of them that are already listed here that kind of come preset or as default. If you're gonna to want to edit one of those, you can tap on it, but we're going to tap the plus in order to add a new one. So we'll tap on the plus. Now it says add commands is required. Set a time and day is optional. You can set it up to where a command We'll activate this routine. You can set it up to where a certain time or day or days, whatever you want to set up, will also activate this command. So you can really have things scheduled like Christmas lights. You can schedule them on and off at different times of the day. And then of course, if you just add a command, you can also do that to control the routine. So we're actually going to go ahead and click on add a command. You're going to say whatever it is and it's going to activate. So we're just going to do, we're going to say turn on my office is called Mission Control, so we're gonna do Mission Control. And then we're gonna tap OK in the top right-hand corner. Perfect, so whenever I say turn on Mission Control, or you know, hey, whatever, turn on Mission Control, it's going to do the functions that I'm gonna do. Again, if you wanna add a date and time, tap on that, choose a time, and you can select different days that you want, and then tap OK in order to activate it as well. Once you have that up, it says Assistant Will. You're gonna tap on Add Action. Again, you can have a custom action set up or you can click on Browse Popular Actions. You're gonna to wanna to go to Browse Popular Actions in order to access those, uh, like those smart home things. So we're gonna do Browse Popular Actions. You can see right here at the top, it says Adjust Lights, Plugs, and More. And you can tap on this little gear and it will list all of the plugs or whatever the lights that it can find that you've linked 
into Google Home. So if you do have a bunch of different uh, like apps that you use to control all your smart home stuff, you're gonna have to link each one of those in order for them to show up. So mission control we've got is all of the office stuff. So we're gonna turn on the office ceiling fan lights. We'll turn those on. Uh, the left lamp, which is right here, we'll turn that on. And the right lamp, turn that on. And then once you've got all of those that you want set up, you're gonna go ahead and tap OK. Perfect, now you can see there's a little checkbox, but don't do anything yet because it hasn't quite saved. If you want it to do other things, for example, I have seen set up, if I click on the gear again, Deep Space is kind of my, uh, like just my overall default theme. It's kind of got like the purples and the blues and stuff, which is what I have. I'm gonna tap on Deep Space. That way when I use this command, if all of the lights are a different color, it's going to kind of reset them into whatever I have this scene is set up and I have this scene set up within the Wiz app. So I'm gonna click on OK there because I want it to be the Deep Space theme. Again, it's got the check mark right there. You can scroll down, you've got tell me about the weather, tell me about my commute home. Uh, again, you can do things like tell me if my battery, if my phone battery is low. This definitely works uh, more so on Android because this is a Google platform. There might be some small functionality with iPhone. I'm not quite sure I don't have one to test with, but uh, you can do all sorts of other things. And of course, you can also set it up to uh, play something uh, custom. So if you tap on the gear, we'll just say, hey, we'll just say turning on and then we'll tap OK. That way it's kind of like a confirmation that, you know, Google is turning it on. Now, once you have everything in here that you want set up, you're going to tap where it says add in the top right hand corner. Tap on that. And now you can see all three of those are listed under the assistant will. And then of course, if you wanted to play media, you can do things like music or play news, radio, if you like sleep sounds, I like sleep sounds, so I'll have one of these play sleep sounds at nighttime, you can set that up as well. We'll just tap the X for now. Once you have everything in here set the way that you want, you're going to go ahead and tap save, and then you're gonna to want to give it a test. So we'll say, hey Google, turn on mission control. Okay, turning on mission control. Don't forget to check out shop.helpcloud.com for some dope help cloud swag. Now, if you ever need to edit or delete, or maybe you wanna change some things up, maybe it didn't function right, you're just gonna to wanna to go back into routines, tap on the routine that you've created, and it will allow you to go in and edit. So you can just do change order, you can do you can add or remove the actions by tapping the little X next to it. Or if you don't want the routine any longer, you can just tap the little trash can at the top and just say this action cannot be undone. You can tap on delete routine and it's no longer in the routines. And that is all there is to it. Pretty straightforward process. I would encourage you guys to just go in there and just go ham on it and have some fun with it. There's a lot of cool things that you can set up virtually limitless possibilities, and just a bonus feature, if you do use an Android phone, you can set things up to have it report your battery percentage, or you can have it shut down at nighttime or turn down the volume at nighttime, things like that that give you just a little bit more control. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it, you got something out of it. And of course, if you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.